Hello everyone. In continuation with the series in triple integrals, this is uh, the third lecture, third session I'm going to present you. Uh, first was triple integrals using the evaluation. Second was the Cartesian coordinates, how the, the transition will happen of 1D to first one dimensional to second dimensional, uh, two dimensional to three dimensional that has happened in the second lecture. This is in that series, this is a third R. Uh, by the end of this session, you will be able to evaluate the triple integrals over the Cartesian coordinates region. Let us go for the first example. Now, in this example, it's a triple integral of 6 z square dv over e. e is the region below 4x plus y plus 2z plus equals to 10. Now, here in this example, we have got some clues. You have to identify those. First is region below the curve and the second is first octant and this is what is the equation of the curve we have now from this equation of the curve uh, you can uh, i need to have for, uh, find out the intersect in the intercepts of this curve at x y and z axis now if you'll see the previous uh, lecture that is the cartesian coordinates in those Cartesian coordinates, I have taken this type of example. Just you go through, you will have the. So I'm not, I'm not spending much more time on this explanation of the. Yeah. If I wanted to find out the x x intercept of x axis intercept of this curve, I have to put y is equals to zero and z equals to zero. Then I, then only I'll get my intercept of this curve at x axis. So. If I'm putting my y0, z0, I'm going to get 4x is equals to 10. That is x is equals to 10 by 4. And I'm going to get my point as 2.5 comma 0 comma 0 as my first point of this curve at x axis. Then to find out for y, I need to go for x is 0, z is 0. After putting x and z as 0, I'm going to get y is equals to 10. And the next point, I'm going to get as 0, 10, 0, where my x and z as 0. If I'm putting my x and y as 0, I'm going to get the z as 0, z as 5. And my point is z, 0, 0, 5. So and at the end, after 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 joining this two three points, so 2.5, 0, 0, one point, another point is 0, 10, 0. A third point is 0, 0, 5. I'm going to get this kind of curve in the x, y, and z plane. So in this x, y, and z plane, x, y, and z plane here, these are the intercepts. So if you'll observe, this is the z axis, the y axis, and this is x axis. So this is a triangular shape we have got. The one other, another clue we have got it as region below. So I have the region under the consideration is region below this curve is under the consideration in three dimensional space. Similarly, it is in first octant. So what do you mean by first octant? First octant means in uh, at x is equals to zero, y is equals to zero and z equals to zero. That means I'm, I'm having the planes x, y, y, z and z explain. That means in the first octant. So if I'm uh, I'm, I'm just right, uh, drawing those uh, all the uh, plus minus plus minus x, y, z. Uh, curves. I'm I'm uh, dividing my entire space into eight equal parts, and out of that, my first octant is the positive, where my x, y, and z, three of them are positive. So after this, I wanted to find out the limit for z, as it is three, one, two, three integrals. I need to find out the limit for z. How that can I do that? So this is uh, this four x plus y plus two z equals to ten means it is nothing but two z is equals to ten minus four x minus y. That is z I'm going to get as this two is getting divided by two three of them. So I'm going to get my the uh, this limit is for z as five minus two x minus one by two times y. So this is the upper limit for because because as we have got this region only in the first octant means what I need to have my initial point as zero. So that means what my z will move from this point to this region, the, the this this surface here. And therefore, zero is less than equals to z is less than equals to five minus two x minus one by two times y. This is the limit for my z. So z will move from zero to this line. Then what, what will happen? So out of this three, I have decided the limits for z. So what, what else is remaining? The remaining are for x and for y. 
now uh, from this figure and as i have given that this is the the, uh, the region is below this figure and it is in first quadrant so if i'll go at the top of my z axis and if i'll see this curve from here from here this and uh, that means what what exactly i'm doing i'm i'm putting the projection of this curve on my x and y why why am i doing that because it is nothing but a, again a question of double integral because if i'm 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 removing this up removing as in i'm just keeping this this one another curve which is already got fixed i'll keep it aside and my different two is nothing but now it's a simple double integral so which, which we have already done uh, videos are available on the channel you can just go for the double integral so what is the double integral now this uh, after putting the projection from the z axis i will have some curve so projection will give me projection will give me this triangle here this projection will give me the triangle like this triangle like this on my x and y plane x y plane this is the triangle after watching it from the top of the z axis i am going to get this triangle so what are the coordinates what will be the coordinates coordinates for whenever i'm i'm removing my z now i'm not considering my z so that means what three dimensional i'm re, i'm uh, uh, i mean reducing it to two dimensional so therefore it is uh, my the uh, the this is zero that is 0 comma 0 into dimensional and this intercept for the y is 10 that is 0 comma 10 and the intercept for this x axis is 2.5 or you can say 5 by 2 for the simplicity whenever we will go for the integral it's simple to go for 5 by 2 comma 0 because my third this this won't be there if I go from x y z plane to x and y plane because i don't want that the intercept for x z axis so this is what is the triangle i'm talking about here so i'm just converting i'm just rearranging the way which we are doing it so this is what is the triangle here this is the line of that y is equals to 10 minus 4x again from where we have got this this is the equation we have got it so this z i'm putting z equals to 0 here after putting z equals to 0 i'm going to get my equation of line as 4x plus y equals to 10 and this is what i have just arranged it for y is equals to 10 minus 4x the reason is i'm considering here a strip parallel to y axis now again we, you have a two options either you can go a strip parallel to x axis or a strip parallel to y axis for a, a no reason actually there is no reason because if you observe this equation of the curve is not so difficult you can just go ahead with either x or a y doesn't matter so i'm just going here with the strip parallel to y axis so if i'm considering a strip parallel to y axis i have to take care of my this lower end and the upper end of the strip for the inner integral now if, if i'm considering a strip parallel to y axis so this y will move from here that is a lower end lower end is on the curve y is equals to zero and upper end is on the curve y is equals to 10 minus 4x and therefore my limit for the y would be zero to 10 minus 4x so this is the limit for y is equals to this is y is equals to this we have done it for z this is for y now how this x will be as this x is nothing but if you observe here the coordinates of this x ordinate you just check it out the x ordinate of this points it is from 0 to that means this is nothing but this this strip is moving from left to right as the convention so this strip is moving from here to here to here to here 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 along the x-axis and therefore this is 0 to 5 by 2 is the limit so this is the limit for x this is the limit for x then then as usual we will go and find out the the z integral so what is this z i have got 6 z squared so it is nothing but 2 z cube that is it's 6 z cube by 3 so it will be 2 z cube the upper limit and the lower limit will come into the picture here the z is getting replaced as 5 minus 2 x minus 1 by 2 times y for the upper limit for the lower limit it is 0 so that won't be the consideration then it will give me give rise to this kind of thing this kind of uh, integrand here again it is getting uh, integrated with respect to y after getting this factor integrating integrated with respect to y i'm going to get this and again it will be like 0 to 10 minus 4x and uh, this oh yeah i need here the substitution i think we have uh, um, yeah this is 10 minus uh, 4x uh fine it is uh, 5 minus 2x yeah so it's 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 here mm. substitution i needed that is 5 minus 2x minus 1 by 2 times y 
is uh, some u i am considering here so after that then this is what is the answer it's very simple this type this uh, steps i think i will not go because it's a uh, very simple steps just for the sake of uh, completion of this question i'm just giving you the steps here so that you can just work it on work it on on this type of this steps because i need it here two times the substitution and then this is the upper limit and the lower limit and this is what is my answer my suggestion for you will just just consider the lectures for the understanding of these limits this is extremely important to understand the limit there is one more thing i have uh, done especially for evaluation of triple integral just you go and refer that that there i have explained you a thorough explanation of evaluating the integrals so now the next question is evaluate 2x in double triple integral 2x plus y on dx dy dz on v triple integral of 2x plus y dx dy dz over v where v is closed region so again i need to find out my uh, the clues here closed integral again it's a bounded by the cylinder is there this it's bounded by cylinder and the planes the planes they have given they have given the planes x equals to 0 y is equals to 0 y is equals to 2 and z equals to 0 so what do you mean by that see in uh, this type of example now if you will observe here it's not required to go for the figure also because i could able to find out this uh, triple integral without a figure also i can find out the limits for those but yes it is always good to have a figure with us just to have the correct and the accurate understanding now if without a figure suppose i wanted to find out the limit for this x y and z so if you observe here it's already they have given why this z is starting the z equals to 0 z equals to 0 means which plane is this this plane is nothing but x and y plane because they have given me here a plane it's not a line understand the difference whenever i'm saying it's a plane and the plane is z equals to 0 that means i have wanted to consider here z equals to 0 means x y plane again x is equals to 0 means x uh, x is equals to 0 means y z plane y is equals to 0 means what it is x z plane and therefore this 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 entire uh, cylinder this uh, region has been enclosed in my again in the first octant again it's an first octant because i have got x is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 z equals to 0 so what would be my limit for z the limit for the z would be 0 to 4 minus x square right because it's given to me that this is Uh, this is already I, I i'm just explaining you the uh, understanding of the limits when it is when it, you you don't have a figure most of the time it might happen that you will not be able to trace the curve or draw the curve don't get disheartened because you can easily do, go ahead with this kind of that is also the um, uh, my target to give you this so z equals to 0 to z equals to 4 minus 4x is my limit for z now again you will observe here this is y is equals to 0 to y equals to 2 means my y will also move from 0 to 2 now here whenever i'm 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 talking about my x is equals to 0 x is equals to 0 i need to find out so upper lower limit would be my x is equals to 0 i need to go for my uh, um, upper limit for this x how can i do that x is equals to 0 come back here in z and put um, uh, this um, z equals to 0 in this curve if i'm putting z equals to 0 in this curve here so i'm going to get 4 minus x square is 0 that is x is equals to plus or minus 2 but so that means what i do have a two choices for the x two choices for x but which will i go for because it's it's given to me as x y y z and z x plane so it's it's uh, i mean it's not required or it's um, uh, uh, the wise decision would be x is equals to 2 straight away x is equals to minus 2 value is getting discarded from here because we are dealing here in the first octant and x is equals to minus 2 is not in not enclosed in the first octant it is a negative value of x and positive values are only present in the first octant and therefore the limit is 0 to 4 minus x square for z 0 to 2 for y and 0 to plus 2 is for x now if you will observe this figure it is the same here so this is nothing but a cylinder if you will complete this cylinder here this would be my this x is equals to minus 2 point coming here So this is my x equals to minus two, and if you observe, this is in this this entire figure is, figure lies in the first octant. That is the reason I'm asking you to find out the clues given to you in the example. And again, so z is uh, z is equal. So this is uh, this this strip. Whenever we are considering a strip in the double integral, in the triple integral, it is the this is a uh, this kind of figure you will get it. 
which is the lower end is on the curve uh, which is uh, x and y plane again it's a positive plane and the upper end of this curve lies on the curve z equals to 4 minus x square and therefore this is the observe here the intercepts are also given it's very simple to find out the intercepts of this uh, figure okay then as i have told you this 0 to 4 minus x square 0 to 2 0 to 2 and so on and you just have to integrate it I'm integrating with respect to um, Z first and then with respect to Y and uh, then with respect to X. And after that, we are going to get the answer as 80 by 3. My suggestion for you all is, again, the same suggestion I'm going to give you. Please do consider my videos for the concepts of uh, the, the finding out the limits and all. This, this type of uh, explanation or this type of um, um, the, the solving the integrals, I have taken it as separate. You just have look at those videos you will get that and this is what so therefore my answer got for this particular question is 80 by 3 i hope everybody must have understood the triple integral under the cartesian coordinates